structure and function of roots. When we look at most plants around us, we see the parts of the plants that grow above the soil. Do plants have other parts as well? Plants are able to stand tall and firm because of this part of plant called the roots, which mostly remain under the ground. There are two main types of roots seen in plants. Some plants have tap roots, while some have fibrous roots. Carrot plant is an example of a tap root. A tap root forms when one main root grows from the base of the stem and many other smaller roots grow from this main root. This main root keeps growing downwards and goes deeper into the soil. Other plants that have tap roots are bean and beetroot. The fibrous roots are seen in plants like grass. In this type of root system, numerous roots of the same size grow from the base of the stem. These roots grow sideways in a bunch and do not go very deep into the soil. Some plants that have fibrous roots are onion and wheat. Roots are a very important part for plants. Look at this boy trying to pull out a bunch of grass from the soil. He tries to pull the grass, but the plants do not come out easily and the boy ends up lifting the pot. This shows that roots of the grass plants are holding them firmly in the soil. Thus the roots function to prevent the plants from being uprooted by fast wind and flowing water. Now look at this boy digging holes in the soil. While making the holes, the boy removed the roots of some grass plants. After a few days, he noticed that the plants whose roots were removed dried up and died. Can you think of the reason why the plants died? Roots absorb water and minerals for the plant from the soil. In the absence of roots, the plants could not get water and died. Roots of many plants such as carrot, beetroot and radish also help to store the extra food made by a plant. Now we all know how important is the roots to the plant.